Hey, I hope you're doing well today. Uh, I wanted to go ahead and share this review of this uh, Uncle Mike's uh, tactical belt or uh, reinforced instructor belt as uh, the manufacturer refers to it. Uh, first and foremost, I want to make sure that uh, we're all aware of what the primary purpose of a belt is and at, that is to uh, hold your pants up. All right, so keep that in mind because the same group uh, when I go out to these firing ranges that are complaining about today's youth wearing their saggy pants are uh, showing up at the range and it basically ends up looking like a uh, plumber's convention with all the crack that's being shown. All right, so uh, before you criticize everybody else, make sure you uh, take a look at your own waistline and let's get that addressed and squared away. It's uh, best for all of us. So now that we're all caught up on what the uh, primary use of a belt is, uh, let's go over uh, other applications. Uh, once again, this is a personal piece of gear. So it really depends on you. What are, what are your uses? What are your needs? What is your application? What are you carrying with you? What do you wear? Uh, where would you use this? These are all questions that only you can answer. So make sure that when you're comparing, because there's a lot of talk, of course, on everything when it comes to gear, but especially on tactical belts of what's the best and what sucks and what you should have and, you know, what this guy from SEAL Team 6 wears and all that. I mean, that's great, right? And it's good to gather that type of information. But the bottom line is you have to make that decision and not really worry so much about other people's opinions. Gather the facts and then uh, just figure out what's going to work best for you. Uh, what I like about this belt is it's also uh, entry level when it comes to pricing. All right. So if you do make a mistake on your first belt, make sure it's an inexpensive one. All right. And then from there you can learn. Now I use a lot of different applications uh, for this belt. But uh, first and foremost, uh, when I'm out there teaching uh, the NTC method, whether it is to our members or whether it is to law enforcement, military, uh, this is a belt that I've used a lot and used in the past because of its rigidness. I'm able to attach all types of uh, weapons and still feel comfortable, not feel like I'm getting dragged, uh, not feel like I'm going to lose something or it's going to fall off. So that's uh, vital, uh, especially when I'm carrying all that gear, not only for retention, but also for comfort. Now this belt basically has a, uh, a piece of polymer that's inside here and reinforced obviously by the two sides, which, give, which gives this extra rigidness, uh, which is excellent for support, but still uh, comfortable, uh, still malleable as uh, you can tell. So if I were to compare uh, this belt or let's say the thickness of it to uh, other uh, tactical belts that are out there, uh, you can tell that there is much more of a rigidness, all right? This is much more flexible. It's actually a more expensive belt. And this one has more of that rigidness because of the polymer uh, that's uh, inside to reinforce the, force this belt, all right? So once again, up to you. Do you need this type of enforcement? Is it going to interfere with you? Is it going to make you uncomfortable? Once again, only you can decide. Uh, the beauty about this world is that we have a lot of choices, all right? I'm just trying to show you different uh, features, different specs, so that hopefully you can make the uh, right decision as to what's for you. Uh, I use this belt even when I'm wearing jeans. Uh, when my wife lets me, all right, when I don't need to dress up and pretend I'm somebody else, right, I uh, can go ahead and use this, wear it with the jeans. Uh, it really doesn't stand out that much, okay? Uh, this would be a regular leather belt, let's say, that I would wear. So you could tell the specs are pretty similar. This one's actually a little bit thinner. They say it's about uh, an inch and a half wide. I think it's actually even a little bit smaller than that. So if I were to match it up with, let's say, a regular uh, leather belt, you could tell that there's probably about a an eighth of an inch or so there all right so once again just to give you a a little bit more um specs so to speak so you can make a, a better decision if this is something that would fit your gear or the uh, pants that you normally wear so i wear them with bdu's jeans uh tactical pants you know once again depending on what i'm doing where i'm teaching and uh, what my application is so so far it's been uh, good to go uh for all of that so uh if you do choose this belt hopefully it'll uh, work for you the uh, same way that it does for me keep in mind that these do run uh, different in sizing, so I wouldn't go off the size of your pants. Also, are you going to have uh, a holster with this? Will the holster be on the outside? Will it be on the inside? These are decisions that you need to address before you order, or you're going to end up getting the wrong size belt. All right, measure your waist with a tape measure, get an actual uh, real reading, and then go ahead and off order your belt off of that. Now, this usually is my go-to belt uh, when I'm out in the field, uh, whether I'm hiking, whether I'm just uh, leading a trek. Uh, whatever the case may be, because uh, it just tends to support my blades uh, better. 
uh, feels comf uh, comfortable, feels like I don't have to constantly keep adjusting. Uh, you can tell it's Velcro here, okay, very simple, just like all the other ones, you know, pull it through you, the hardware here and uh, go ahead and just Velcro that down. So uh, super easy to put on, super easy to take off. Uh, weighs less than a pound, okay, but you know, a little bit heavier than most other belts. So if you are gonna use them more for a recreational application, uh, make sure that you address that, make sure that you're comfortable with it. And like everything else, the more that you uh, wear it, the more you're gonna break it in, the more it's gonna form to you. This one's relatively new. I have a couple older, older ones that I've used in the past. Uh, but I keep this one nice and clean, so when I have to be uh, in uniform, so to speak, uh, I look the part. So the bottom line is, if you're looking uh, to add a tactical belt or looking to replace a tactical belt, uh, here, this one might be a great choice for you. Uh, the uh, price point is under $30 uh, from what I last checked, and that would be shipped. Uh, keep in mind uh, all the little uh, specs that I gave you, and I will also uh, detail all the specs that I didn't mention uh, in the blog post as usual on CoachHelder.com. So uh, hopefully uh, you enjoyed this review, found it helpful, and if you're uh, in the market, take a look at this. Might be something that you uh, will want to pick up. Thanks for viewing. Hope you enjoyed it.